Jackson to the hot seat. Thank you very much. <laughs> Honored to be here. Well, you've always been behind the camera for this podcast. It's your first yeah. time being in the front. I'm really excited to yeah. be interviewing you today. It's weird to be in the front. It yeah. is, huh? A lot of um, attention. Yeah, I'm not used to it. To <laughs> I think you should get used to it being the superstar editor that you are. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, so let's start with a little bit of an introduction. So where do you go to school? What are you majoring in? So I go to Fullerton College, like most of the rest of the team. Mm -hmm. And I'm majoring in communications and African American studies mm -hmm. currently. I'm working towards transferring, which will hopefully happen uh, next next fall. So this is my last year at Fullerton College. And yeah, that's basically, basically yeah. it right now. Where do you hope to transfer? Uh, hopefully, my goal is to transfer to UCLA. Mm -hmm. um, if that doesn't happen, that's that's fine. But that's what I'm aiming towards right now. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm working for. Yeah. That's great. So you have recently started a job with a program on campus. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so I just became a program assistant uh, for the Emoja program at Fullerton College, which basically the Emoja program is just a, a program whose main initiative is just unity and, and, and help for primarily black students at Fullerton College. But, I mean, other people are definitely welcomed and... and yeah, welcome to the program. But yeah, I'm a program assistant. I'm just some simple office duties so far. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing too crazy. But I'm enjoying it though. I'm enjoying my time so far. Oh well, yeah, it's a great introduction to all yeah. the work that they do, and I I love the Emoja program. Yeah. Um, I wasn't a part of it per se, but being uh -huh. in associated students, we got to see a lot of what they were doing, and they're definitely one of the best programs. Yeah. On campus to be involved in. So. How long have you been with the Observer? Um. I want to say mm, May. May. Around May, I think, is when I joined. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's it's around that time. It's like a little bit before summer, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And what motivated you to join a community newspaper? Um. Well, I know I definitely wanted to have more experience in my intended field, which is, I mean, communications. So I definitely wanted to have more experience behind the camera, like editing and stuff, like that interested me that I would possibly want to do as a career in my in my future. So, uh, luckily Jody Balma at Fullerton College. Shout uh, out to her shout always out, shout out in Jody every Balma. interview. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Jody Balma actually put me on. She she sent me a um, or she sent the email to you and you got back to us like really quick about the position and yeah, she just saw it fit and I I mean it's a great it worked out perfectly, honestly. Yeah, Professor Balma yeah. is such a fantastic connector yeah, to all definitely. the resources that a student could possibly ever need. So if you're going to Fulton College and you don't take her, I mean, you haven't really been to yeah. Fulton College. So at least meet her. You don't have to take your class, just like meet her, you know? Yeah, go to the just, honors yeah. center the the office I believe is now in the transfer center. Yeah. And yeah. You go and talk to her. Definitely. So You've been with us for a few months now. You've been working on this podcast with me, Adrian, several other people, as mm -hmm. well as you've been doing the Latour project. Yeah. So what have you learned through all these different experiences? Um, I've definitely learned to value patience yeah. and not stress myself out, which is something that I wasn't too keen on like going into this, this project. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's not, it's not life or death. It's, right. you know, it, it's, it's, it's just, you know, it's a podcast. Yeah. So I think I've been able to balance, I've been able to balance um, uh, just my, my, my schedule and everything. I'm able to, I've learned to prioritize stuff that needs to be prioritized. And it's just helping me just beyond the actual, like, podcast itself, like, just life skills I've obtained from this. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm definitely, definitely picked up a lot. It's been very educational. Yeah, and you're definitely right about that aspect. I think all of us here, majority of us are full-time students, and yeah. then we're doing this as an add-on, and then people have work, and then they yeah. have social lives, and they have to sleep and eat, work out, yeah. all of those things, right? So this is something that can easily get very, very stressful really yeah, fast. Um, just, so I'm glad. Just managing it, yeah, managing it before it gets bad. Yeah. I mean, that's the best you can do. Yeah, I think drawing boundaries and in terms yeah, of definitely. this sort is extremely important. And yeah. I think I struggled with that for a while too until I finally figured out a yeah. pace that doesn't burn me out. <laughs> so when can we expect the Latour Fullerton project? If that's not too burdensome yeah. of a question to ask. Um, so the Latour the thing about the Latour is that when filming it our our plan was 
to have nothing time sensitive so we're not stressing ourselves with deadlines or anything so um it has been put on pause just since school started recently but uh we will be picking up in the coming months and then it will be something that will be posted by the end of um my school year so sometime in the spring early Early summer, the latest, but ideally the spring. So, what what is the Little Tour project? Let's explain that for so, the audience. So yeah, my man. So the Little Tour, <laughs> the Lord, the Little Tour project, is basically me and uh, Jesse Latour. Adrian Adrian helps us as well filming, but it's Jesse Latour, basically giving a tour about different landmarks, different historical uh, uh, points in in the city of Fullerton. Basically, just trying to showcase the city to someone who may have not may not know about the city. You know, we're just trying to give it that uh that spotlight mm -hmm. on these different parts of the city people may not know about you know yeah and i think there's a lot of fulton is a city that is very rich in history as yeah. well as just called the city of education yeah. so there's clearly a lot to learn about the history of fullerton yeah definitely so i'm glad that you have taken on this project and i have full faith that your yeah. video thank and you. filming abilities yeah. will make it come really it come out really nice thank you of course so what encourages you to stay at the observer you know it is as you said it can be an all-engulfing yeah. an all-encompassing role <laughs> but what has motivated you to stay uh, at the end of the day i mean being able to look back at a product that that we all were able to get our hands on and all be a part of i think that's just a, it's just a good feeling and also knowing that i'm doing something that i enjoy like i enjoy like recording and like editing and stuff like that just being able to know that like I had a part in something that can also like help you know you unite the community in some aspects it's just a good good feeling yeah 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 it's a great feeling to have so tell me a little bit about your plans for the future either career wise or with this internship um so I mean you can never be sure of the future as far as a career I'm not even gonna say like what I want to be because I don't I I don't know it's gonna change like from week to week so I know I do want to work in like some form of digital media industry whether that's like film television something like that uh, what role I want in that that I don't know yet that's what I'm still trying to figure out but I have time though which is good yeah and I don't see an end to to helping out with the podcast maybe if I decide to move uh, to a school that might be like farther away I don't know. Yeah. But all that's still up in the air. I'm not certain on anything. Yeah. yeah. And application season is upon us. Yeah. And I feel that's like that's another thing to stress me out about. But yeah. yeah. I I'm not in like I don't need to apply this season per se, yeah. but I feel that November anxiety. Yeah, definitely. I don't know why. It's like I wouldn't say PTSD, but yeah. just like, you know, uh, having been through that, gosh, I yeah. feel it. I feel it too. I'm like, Oh my god, November thirty is coming. <laughs> yeah. Um need to get started on my essays what essays i don't know but um you know i think working with you has been such a pleasure now that we can't really work together anymore because of scheduling conflicts but i think seeing you do the video work and seeing you enjoy the editing process which is something that i feel like very few people can do that has just shown that how great of an editor and an intern you are so i'm very happy that you are with the podcast thank you very much thank, you. thank you jackson for being here today and allowing me to interview you all right, thank you. <laughs>